Zero Fossil Fuels on the uh, computer right now, working on this ham radio. I think it's a TS440S amateur ham radio by Kenwood. So he's making a bunch of modifications to it right now. So what I'll probably do is soak one of these cartridges and then come back and show you one of the lights lit because Zero Fossil Fuel doesn't believe me that I actually received the product until he sees it on tape or a picture so we'll give him a we'll give me a view of it on tape which will be even better than a picture so there you go I waited a long time for it they finally got it right but they packaged it it looks like it was uh, basically put together in China and that's who they're probably using to do all the packaging okay here we go we're gonna Take one of the cartridges out of the paper, getting ready to put it in the water. It says 10 to 15 seconds, immerse it in the water. That's what we're going to do. Uh, that's about five seconds. That's about 10. And that's about 15. It says to take it out. Shake off the excess water. This says to uh, pat it down and dry the container. So we'll dry this up real good. Oops, all my accessories are falling over over here. Again, this is the, uh, the light that plugs into it. There's a solar panel. There's a cartridge that was inside the, the base. There's two additional cartridges and then the top unit. Alright, so this thing has been dried off, padded, excess water shaken off of it like the instructions say. You can't screw this up because it's got a slot here that fits in a slot in the unit. Just push that in there like that. Clean up the water mess here. Take the top, fold these latches back. Set the top on top of it. I don't know what position the power switch is in right now, but we'll find out shortly. Okay, so hopefully it's activated. We'll go ahead and push the on button. And so far nothing's happening. I don't think I'm making any mistakes. You can reuse these canisters again. So let me shut the video off for a second. I'll get the second one. Maybe you need both in there to complete the circuit. We'll give it a shot. Okay, I tried it with one canister. The instructions say they don't, they're not specific about whether you got to use both of them or not, but it does say to saturate both and put them in. So that's what we'll do. 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. Okay, that's about 10 seconds. Give it another 5 seconds. Okay, shake off the excess water. Towel it down to dry it off. The outside canister. Clean up the top where the connectors are. Shake off excess water, clean the canister up. Alright, again, uh, you line up this with a notch, fits in proper. Okay, I've activated the first one already. Let's see if uh, we're going to get anything out of this. Oop, I can see some action. I see some lights coming on. Let's see what happens. Yeah, success. So it looks like you need both batteries in there to activate it. So hopefully you can see that. I'm going to shut the lights off here in a second. But it's working. So it looks like you do need both batteries in. Let me shut the light off. 
I'll shut some other lights off. Try to get as dark as I can. You know, there you go. It works in emergency. Uh, I can't remember how long it says it's supposed to run. But uh, I know it's a long time. I'll uh, try to find that out and put it later on in this video. Uh, some of the specs on it. But uh, it's working. So the cartridges are active with the water. What I'll do here is I'll test it some more. And I'll let those cartridges dry. And then you can reactivate them and reuse them again. Until... Uh, until they're no longer any good. I don't know if it tells you. It doesn't tell you on here how long they're good for. But I do remember reading it at one time. This was a Kickstarter program by Mark Dancy. Also known as uh, Darth Dancy. And uh, I know he lives in the Philippines now. But he's been working on this project uh, for quite a while. They made lots of improvements on it before they officially sent it out in the Kickstarter program. But uh, it works, so I'm going to kill the video at this point, and uh, there we go. Okay, some, uh, here's the directions on the back of the uh, box for the it's, uh, SC1C-L Supercell Lantern Charger Hydrolite. Step one, remove the top lantern section, lift both HCL cells out of the bottom section, dip cells in water for 15 seconds, shake off excess water and dry outside of the cells, place cells back into the main housing, making sure cells seat properly, replace the lantern top. I've done all that. As you can see, it is running. And some of the other specs on it are, run time is 300 plus hours for a cell set. So, meaning two cells. Uh, and I believe when you take them out, you basically can just store them shelf life, they say, is 25 years. So you can keep reusing them over and over. And uh, 300 hours is quite a long time. So, there you go. The uh, Hydrolite in all its glory. And basically three position switch. One is off. The other activates this port to charge devices. And again, this port here is for the uh, solar panel to basically recharge the internal lithium ion battery. That's this here with the cord and plug. Plugs into the front. And you got an indicator here. If it's red, it's in charging mode. If it's green, it means you can charge devices with this port here. There's an additional light that goes with it that you uh, can use, like a 25-foot cord. Hangs from the center of your tanner. And like I said, I got two additional uh, cells to use. Okay? And those are called HCL1 hydrocells. And I think that's about it, other than the instruction sheets that come with it. Uh, right now, I have green lights so I could basically plug in that external light and maybe I'll do that now. Okay, here's a demonstration of the uh, the external light. It does have a handle on it for hanging. Folds down. You basically plug the cord into the back of it like that. You take the other cord and you plug it into the auxiliary port where you would charge your phone or run this light. And you basically turn on the light, and there is a switch on the cord. The cord is about 10 feet long, it's not 25 feet. And then you basically have a switch here on the cord to turn, turn the light on and off. Three bright LEDs, and they are very bright. Again, 300 hours of uh, use out of, out of the canister cells. And 25 years, they say, of shelf life when you basically take them out. They say take them out and just, they don't even tell you to put them in a baggie or anything, but uh, shelf life is 25 years. That's it for now. Adirondacks for me out.